What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 89 of Talking Shit. My name is Barrett Courtney. I'm one of your hosts, and here joined with me are my great co-hosts and even better friends, the bisexist from Texas, Henry Montiero. What's up, Henry? And over here is my favorite chunky punk. He's almost dead. He has that <laughs> just that look in his eyes like he's ready to kill me. Ricky Baldessan. <laughs> now, Henry, you were you weren't here last week. You no. were, you had a kidney stone. That uh -huh. was really you were in a lot of pain. Oh yeah. Um. So how, how was that? Sucked. It, it, it sucked a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you were just like healed. But here's the thing: when he's in pain, you can't tell because we walked in and he's he was like on the bed. And he's like sort of just like this with like the plainest face, just like he was almost kind of smiling. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> hey, motherfuckers. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm puking blood. <laughs> he's been drinking soda this whole time just to get out of that one show. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I don't want to be on episode 88. Fuck Damn it. Episode 88. Damn it, Max is going to be back. <laughs> <laughs> no, Max was a uh, great friend. Uh, Max Romero was on last week. He was, uh, cool he was a fun time. Uh, we talked about plot twists. That was the topic that he brought in. That was really fun. Um, yeah, we talked about a lot of uh, cool stuff on that episode. But we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, this is Talking Shit. It's a weekly podcast where the three of us bring in random topics of discussion. And we talk some shit about that topic. If you like that, head on over to patreon.com slash bzg. Give us $1 a month and you get every full episode early and an exclusive episode every month but if you don't want to support us if you don't want to throw us the dollar if you just can't that's okay talking shit still rolls out the following week on youtube.com slash bayazoni gamers topic by topic monday through thursday but before the entire episode is available for everybody on our soundcloud page now henry ricky that was a lot of shit there's a lot of different web pages you have to go back and forth to but here's the thing if everything works out in my favor which it probably won't, and so I'm going to say this, assuming everything's going to go okay, but again, it probably won't. If you don't feel like going to all of those different places, we have a fucking website now, and not the bayazonagamers.wix.com forward slash official website. Dot no. gov. We have an official <laughs> website, bzgamers.com. Uh, beautiful website, uh, runs way smoother than our original Tuck one. Uh, <laughs> all of our content is right there for you guys. So if you're sick of you know jumping back and forth, all of our content available in one BCG place for you. Scholastic.bcg.edu. <laughs> yeah, bcg.com was taken, bcg.org.net, and all these other ones were taken. bcgsf.com was I'm taken along you, with a fucking it's Alex, Alex. Alex O'Neill from Rational Passions. <laughs> like, hey, I'm buying these for 50 cents each. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not because it's annoying because like bcg.com would have been ideal. No one's using it. Like, whoever owns that is not using it for anything. And then bzgsf.com, someone owns that. You finally see it's being used, and it's just Alex <laughs> flipping you off. <laughs> <laughs> just, they're all, he's using all of them, and it's like when you when you type it in, it's all, it just takes you to meat spin. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a redirect. <laughs> it's um, just like, fuck you, Barrett. Over yeah, it. <laughs> I, I put a lot of time into the new site, so let me know how you, how you like it. Uh, if you... This um, is Alex O'Neill talking. He's quoting. <laughs> he's just putting comments on all of our posts. Like, hey, you guys suck. Um, I want to buy a zone of gamers from you guys. Um, he. Um, so let me know if uh, if you want to see any improvements with the site. If there's anything I could do better. I have no idea how to fucking build a website, and I did it this time with Squarespace. Uh, and Squarespace was a little harder to understand than Wix, but I eventually got the hang of it. You know. By eight in the morning, when I'd stayed up all night making the website, um, I legit I passed out in my gamer chair. I I could have sworn I had gone up to go cuddle with Alyssa because Alyssa was on the couch bed. I could have sworn I had gotten up to cuddle her, but apparently I had fallen asleep in my gamer chair, and she had gotten up at one point, like to be awake and like do housework or whatever. And when she got up. That's when I got into bed and just laid there by myself. But I could have sworn I went to go cuddle her, but I guess not. Um, so before before we get, because you have two topics this week, it's mm -hmm. not me bringing in the two topics. It's you. It's me. It's you. Before I just want to say, um, how, how's our week been? Shit. Yeah, Shit. You, you had the you had the kidney stone. You also had uh, your birthday was yesterday, mm -hmm. the day before we were recording. Yeah, so my week was shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you um 
I did a festival. <coughs> you did the uh, Easter festival downtown the San Francisco, or parade. not downtown San Francisco, but it's like uh, f- between Franklin and Fillmore, whatever you call it. It's like sort of by Venice. We call it the like F China, area, Chinatown, a little bit. No, Mm-mm. um, I'm trying to think of something. It's it's by Venice sort of and where, Union. It's sort of like right where downtown starts to begin. Yeah. Um, and I had an all right week yesterday. We reorganized the living room. Nice. Yeah. So the couch that. bed isn't where it's new normally is anymore. The entertainment center is a completely new spot. Mm-hmm. Everything's awesome. just stacked up in the center, and it's now a worship spot. <laughs> uh, it was a productive week or a productive uh, day yesterday. Um, and kind of funny live two tickets went on sale today, the day that we're recording this. It was fucking. I'm so excited. You bought two tickets in I one day. I bought two tickets. Well, here's the thing. So <laughs> I was like, in I one thought day. <laughs> it was going to be way cheaper than it actually was. I thought, like, okay, like general, maybe be forty five, and then VIP will be like a hundred. I'm so surprised how expensive it was. Well, it's because they got it at the region. It's because Jesus. they're at the Regency Ballroom this yeah. time. So yeah, it, it's forty five, or I thought it was going to be like forty five, and then VIP would be a hundred. I was aiming to get VIP, so. Tickets go up, and it's $70, $70 for a regular ticket and two fifty for a VIP. And so I, I freak out internally, and I don't uh, internally, and I don't talk to Alyssa about it at all. And so I'm just like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna buy a general." And then Alyssa's like, "Hey, how much are the VIP tickets?" I was like, two fifty. She was like, "Oh, I'll help you pay for that because you know, uh, for a belated birthday present." And I was like, "Oh, all right." And so now I just uh, I sort of had this extra ticket. I was like, "Fuck, like." I just sort of wasted 70 bucks, but uh, I'm selling it to you. Yeah. So you can come and then you just bought your ticket. So the BZG crew is going to be at Kind of Funny Live too. It's going to be fucking awesome. We'll be the one screaming obscenities. I think that's going to be everybody, to be honest. I'll be in the crowd blowing Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, and I'm not even like, I'm excited for the shows, of course. I'm excited to, mm-hmm. you know, meet the guys from Kind of Funny again and to, uh, meet some of the, the Rooster Teeth people. Uh, but I'm really excited for people to be here. I'm excited to see Sean Pitts, uh, Alex O'Neill, Trevor Starkey. Yeah, this would not only be me meeting kind of funny. It'd be me meeting Alex and shit for the first yeah, time. Yeah, like you've never met Alex time. like the last time he or was Tom here for Hawkins. PSX and Tom Hawkins, um, <laughs> who I think is staying with us for a couple of days. I maybe think um, Andrew from Comics and Joysticks is staying with me, and so Alex is staying with me. Um, yeah, it, it, I'm I'm really excited just to to see everybody again. Right. So it would be fun. Yeah, I just wanted to really, talk really about fun. that because that happened this morning. I was really excited. I'm so I like I'm I'm just fucking excited. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. And also, baseball starts this week. Is or by fucking, the time you watch this, it was last week. But yes, it fucking does. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, well, I think we're going to opening day on. Thursday, I normal believe. fucking sport going on. <laughs> shit. Um, anyway, Henry, what's your first topic that you want to talk about? Let's talk about the worst pains we've ever felt because, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had that kidney stone. Like, what what kind of pain is a kidney stone pain? So imagine right here. All right, you're repeatedly getting stabbed. Oh, geez. So yeah, and for the audio listeners, it's like. The kidneys. It's, it's, yeah, right. Right where your really imagine bad. where your kidney would be. Some some poor guy is like holding his leg or something. My kidney is right here. Um, <laughs> your, your kidney is like sort of left of your your abdomen area. So you're getting stabbed there, and then they push it up and swirl. Oh my god. Oh fuck. That's about what it felt like for three straight hours. Jesus, and you were like throwing up blood, right? That. Oh. Well, actually, here's the thing. I wasn't directly throwing up blood because of the kidney stone. It hurt so bad, I was forcibly making myself throw up because that was the only way to stop the pain. Oh, my Jesus. God. Oh. Yeah, I remember dry, like um, me and Tasia being at my house and then um, her mom picking us up and taking her to the hospital, and she was, like, screaming. Yeah, because she also had kidney stones, right? She was, like, yeah, she was, like, fucking screaming and kicking my chair. It was she, And then she was also throwing up. Um, when we got there and then by the time we, um, were in the room waiting for the doctor and stuff, she wasn't in pain anymore. <laughs> so, uh, it's gone. Yeah. She was just like, oh, it's gone. And me and her mom just like looked at each other. Like, what the fuck? Um, 
Um, but yeah, I hear that's fucking terrible. Yeah. yeah. God awful. Uh, but then it was fine when after that, they gave me a drug that they described as eight times more powerful than morphine. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. The entire rest of the time I was in the hospital. I was in the Heroin? hospital. Heroin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a problem now. <laughs> yeah! I don't have kidney stones Alice anymore, but I'm a fucking addict. <laughs> they just start playing Alice in Chains. Give you heroin. Because <laughs> I don't know <laughs> where I'm going. Eggs. <laughs> but, uh, eggs. <laughs> eggs. You guys don't get that joke. I'm sorry. I but, uh, don't know what I'm I was having in, for breakfast. Yeah, we, were, we, were, uh, we were driving <laughs> in the car like, after suck my recording. Dick. <laughs> we were driving uh, in the car after recording an episode of Talking Shit. And Henry said, we were listening to Bob Dylan and the Velvet Underground. And you're just like trying to like sing just like the weirdest lyrics along with like those songs <laughs> at one point we're listening to the velvet underground you're just like hey no it was bob dylan it was bob dylan and it weirdly like he said eggs right when like dylan was saying was like a perfect. similar line too. yeah <laughs> and then um then we went to velvet underground yeah. and the whole thing turned into lou reed walking into the recording studio super high just yelling yeah. <laughs> second nico i'm lou reed um, andy warhawk can suck my balls <laughs> So, biggest pains. Uh, I don't remember the type of pain this was, but here's an interesting story. I'm going to tell you the story of my testicle. Of nice. when Can I was work. born. Mm -hmm. This goes all the way back to my birth. Is when I was born, my balls, my balls are so my so big. <laughs> my, my balls and my dick like, were you know, so big. Like you know when kids get their head stuck and like they can choke. My well, I was all my out. head got stuck. I was but... all out, but my balls were still in there. So my left, Balling. my left testicle wouldn't come down, and so I literally have a hook for my left testicle. They like they put a hook in there to make sure it stays down, and so. That's just the beginning of the story. That I don't remember that. That was when I was like first born. I don't fucking right. remember that. Anyway, <laughs> Henry's like, well, that's a good hook to the story. <laughs> anyway, so fast forward. Let's see. I was just living in Dustin I was Hoffman living dressed in up as Lakewood Captain at Hunt. the time. So I must have been <laughs> Stay down. <laughs> I was either I was either between the ages of like seven to nine. And so at one point, I think it's the weekend, and I get up. Ball no, it's because your butt is working. <laughs> Did your ball go back up? <laughs> I hated lover boy. So that I, much. I, 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 I get up. I think it's a school day actually, and I get up really early, and I'm in like a lot of pain. I don't know why, and it, it hurts like sort of right here. And so I'm like walking around. I hope you're not I, just like, explaining I'm landing, blue balls. I'm, I'm laying on the like no like uh, for audio listeners, uh, like I hurt like right above my waistline to the left a little bit. So I'm. I'm like limping around, I get on the couch and I don't even want to get back up to like get food or breakfast or anything. And I, I'm just like watching TV until my mom wakes up. My mom wakes up, she finds me, she's like, What is wrong with you? I was like, I don't know, I'm in a lot of pain. And then she's like, All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna get ready. And then, like, you know, you're 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 a guy, you sometimes you're just like, you know, feeling around there. See, because yeah. the I, I started to get the sense that the pain was directed a lot towards there. My ball went back up. The one that got hooked. And so I only had like one testicle for a couple of hours. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I tell my mom and she's like, oh, shit. And so we go to the hospital and we're like, most of the time that we're in the hospital, we're just in the emergency room. And we, we finally get helped. And I think at one point, like, it just sort of came back. Huh. Like, it just sort of came back on its own. And then that was it. I've never had that problem. Just, just a little ball ever going again. Up. That reminds me. Ever of, again, it was the weirdest thing. That reminds me of the worst thing I've ever heard online. Of this guy, I'm, I'm really I'm scared about what he's about to say. Right? This guy's I'm so like interested. dislocated, and one of his balls slipped in. Oh, <laughs> oh god, your fucking face! Oh my god. Here, here's how I was hoping your story would end. And this doctor ran in. When I know how to fix it, grabbed your dick. And blowed until the other one popped out. <laughs> Did it! Get me the Nobel Prize! Um, so I'm like, some pains that I can actually remember, and this is why I'm like really sensitive to like kneecaps, is my right kneecap is very prone to popping out all the time. Oh, it is gross. And it's always, it's never like when I'm just sitting down or anything, it's always when I'm walking. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> 
Uh, Mom's just looking at the doctor. <laughs> I mean, it Stop happens. blowing my son. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> it happened for the first time on my on my way to my my friend's uh, wake, uh, Amber. And I remember I was right. like I had flown back to to Cleveland for this. And my dad lives on like the the second floor of like sort of a duplex sort of thing. So we're walking down the stairs. It's like two flights of stairs. And we're walking down. I took a bad step. This is the first time it ever happens. And my kneecap fall like pops out, mm-hmm. and I just fall down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Um, and that feeling is just so because it's not even the kneecap itself falling out; it's the continuing of bending your knee while it's out, which is like, oh my god! It, it I can't even describe it because for me, it's such a unique pain that I've never really felt before. Yeah. Um, and so that's happened, and it actually happened in that same trip. On the way back to San Francisco, where I'm walking down, like we're like uh, like uh, getting onto the plane, and I'm walking down, I'm about to take my seat. I took a wrong step, and I fucking my kneecap uh, popped down. And I fell on someone. Jesus. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's one of my pains. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's still on my mind. Fixed. <laughs> How about you, Ricky? Um, so probably the worst thing, um that I've ever felt was um, I went to Stockton to go visit my brother and um, this isn't going to go well. (laughs) (laughs) And um, me and him were kind of doing one of our typical like drives down the block, Mm. like smoking and stuff, just kind of chilling, being bad boys, being bad boys. And, um, (laughs) and my brother was obviously (laughs) affiliated with very bad things. Mm. And um, like Dairy Queen. Uh, kind of long story short, um, w- I got jumped okay. because my brother was getting in a fight and I was like trying to get him out of it. There was like us and like three other or four other guys. Was it four? Yeah, it was four. Okay. Um, brother fighting uh, one of them, me getting jumped by three of them. Oh, geez. What pretty much happened was fractured jaw. Ugh. Um, eyes were completely shut and I couldn't even see anything. Um, like in the boxing movies. <laughs> yeah um fractured like three ribs on this side jesus knee broke um wrist broken and um i couldn't breathe whatsoever yeah. so i was in the hospital for a while um and my then... knee can't fall out and it hurt a little bit <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> and insult to and inter- the doctor blew me. Insult to injury, getting to the hospital, falling and breaking my nose. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so I was there for a while. I think that's adding injury to injury. <laughs> <laughs> um, second one was it was before this, and um, I was still living in shock. <laughs> Some doctor came in <laughs> and blew my dick to pop my <laughs> ball out. <laughs> so my ball went up. <laughs> And he got Nobel Prize a lot. <laughs> the funny story it was just like what you said. <laughs> and um, um, skating in Stockton, um, I was still skateboarding, and um, me and my cousin made like a very janky ramp in front of his house. Mm. And um, that's such a small town thing to do. Yeah, we built it's a, such a ramp. small town girl thing to do. <laughs> we built a ramp. Ah, uh, skateboard. Ma- anyway, I don't have a toe anymore. <laughs> Mountain Dew's pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew's pretty cold. <laughs> um, so we made a really janky ramp. Uh, a lot of Stockton is like trails and stuff. Uh, not a lot, a lot of, of like just ramps, country, concrete, or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, sort of like how Daily City is just a theater, a theater and an in and out. <laughs> <laughs> um. So my cousin's using the ramp. It's perfectly fine. I go to use the ramp, and of course, something fucking happens. It breaks. We're like, I go. So this is what happened. I get out. I I'm skating. I get on the ramp. Ramp breaks. Oh my god. Um, I land on the gravel road. Ugh. I fall, break my knee. Ugh. Yeah. Doctor runs up, starts blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have one more. Okay. And then yeah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Quick one. Um. So this happened like uh it was my freshman year at Lincoln. Okay. Um like uh middle of the night felt my ear was hurting really bad. Um my ear infections classic. Yeah. And it was just like 
I knew it was an ear infection immediately because you never forget like that. You never forget. That's the one thing you never forget about being like a baby. Yeah. How yeah, much got, ear infections suck. Yeah. Yeah. That was like, I got ear infections a lot. Yeah. It was so to the I. point where like, I, cause you have like inner ear infections and outer ear, ear infections as well. It was so bad to the point where I had ear infections in both of my ears, both inner and outer. I, I could barely hear. Yeah. So my <laughs> thing sucks. My thing was that I had an ear infection. Wake up my mom like, hey, I have a really bad ear infection. Could we go like yeah. to the doctor or something? What I'm even like, causes ear infections? Sucking. <laughs> a lot of things. Um, Kids just sucking a lot. I think it's mostly just you got like... got ear infections because you suck, <laughs> bitch. Oh, Noble Prize. <laughs> um, Noble th- Prize. Did I say Noble? I, Noble? I don't know. I don't know. Majority. Uh, We're painting doctors as the worst people. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's... Uh, bacterial thing i'm not too sure I anyway it's like so i go to wake up my mom and um well i know it's bacterial but like what like how does that i don't know i don't fucking Sucking. know it's sort of like getting a lot of um infections uh that swell up your tonsils you know it's like yeah. how like the fuck right sucking a lot of gross dick or something <laughs> just put um, a lot of gross dicks in your ear <laughs> aiming for that Nobel prize <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah like i try to like wake up my mom and uh tell her about it and she's just kind of like can you power through it like do like re- um so i tried to power through it we go the next morning what ended up happening was um fluid was building up inside my ear <sighs> and it made a layer uh there's like a few layers um in front like kind of protective layers for your eardrum yeah pretty much collecting behind that and popped it open oh and like by the time we got to the hospital i was like like dripping whatever ooze oh, was building up behind it. after this i have to show you there you, you don't have, have to show me to show shit <laughs> no we have this video at, on the computer milo sang this ear song oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah i've seen that yeah, yeah Isn't it i great? watched it yeah yeah that's cute could that be our intro theme? <laughs> uh, a long intro theme. Uh, a, a pain that I actually still feel very frequently um, every... every no, nom. <laughs> Remembering nom. nom. Ah! <laughs> ah! No, hey, but, hey like, Barry, I, you I want get... some jimmies on your ice cream cone? No! 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 That's why he always denies it. <laughs> jimmies aren't a fucking word. Get yeah. over it. Watch. Stop making jimmies a thing. You're jimmies making, aren't a thing, but Charlie you're making, is. You're making jimmies a thing like Zack Snyder is trying to make fucking Amy Adams a thing. Tell your story. I'm searching um, it up. So anyway, I get headaches a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and when I do, it's not like, you know, usually you can power through a headache and still do work and whatnot. Like, it still sucks, it still hurts, but it's like, you can still do shit. My headaches get to the point where I can't even function as a person. Um, and it's just because, like, I, it, it, it's a migraine. It's almost a migraine at one point, and I get them, like, every two weeks. And it's the worst fucking thing. And that's, like, I get anxiety because of it, because of, like, fuck, like, am I, like... I have something cool planned. Like, I hope I don't get a fucking headache that day. Like, that's the first thing that comes headaches to mind. Headaches are the worst Fuck. fucking thing in the world. Um, and it's because mine gets so bad. Like, I get so fucking anxious about it. Okay. Like, I just got my kind of funny live tickets. And the first thing uh, the first thing I thought was, hope I don't get a headache during that weekend, which I probably will. I have one headache story after this. A very short. Um, so well, Yeah, I don't have a specific story. I just oh, get them all the time. It was just like, yeah. <laughs> well, I no, have but them, actually, suck. But actually, um, there was one time, it was, yeah, right yeah, before, it was right before I moved here, I was uh, staying at my dad's house in Cleveland, and I this migraine was actually because at the time I was really addicted to caffeine, and I didn't know that, um, and so I had, I had not been drinking like soda or anything for a couple of days, So I was literally in, I couldn't move from my bed, like at all, like I was in bed for like six hours in constant pain. Like, I had taken, I had even, like, fallen, like, usually you can nap off a headache, right? Like, I had woken up, and, like, I had fallen asleep, woken up, and that the migraine was still, like, it was worse. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, that's how bad my, and that's the, that's still sort of how bad they can get. Like, a couple, the, the day I interviewed Sean Pitts, I had a splitting headache throughout the entire interview, uh, and that was to the point where I had taken a nap, like, immediately right after his interview and woken up, and it was still really bad. Um... So anyway, yeah, that's... I was hoping you'd say so, the interview was still going and he was just very confused. 
So Animal? before I go into that, I found a different definition for Jimmy on Urban Dictionary. All right. A top definition for a Jimmy. So if you don't know the story, uh, on our Let's Play for... Ocarina. Was it Ocarina? It was our Let's Play for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ricky's trying to tell me that Jimmy's are another word for sprinkles. And I say, you're fucking crazy. It, they're called fucking sprinkles. That's what you call them. No one calls them Jimmy. Because you were trying to convince me it was a Midwest thing. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm from the Midwest. And I no said one East Coast. Me. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> anyway, here's the top definition for a Jimmy. A highly attractive attractive person. Someone who is caring, loving, and will always be there for you. <laughs> yeah, any girl, any girl would be lucky to be dating a Jimmy. Also very sexy and erotic. You'll easily fall in love with his personality. This was written by someone <laughs> named Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's. When Russell convey feelings of discontent or of being upset. And then the third definition. Another, another word, word for dick. dick. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped my Jimmy in her pussy. <laughs> None of those... Have the words oh, I'm sprinkles. It. Anyway, so my headache thing is um, was trying to convince him Jimmy's was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> was um, still living in Stockton, uh, living with my grandparents, so church every fucking Sunday. Oh, and um, we're going to church. I start getting a fucking migraine, mm -hmm. like to the point where like I'm almost crying. I can't go. God doesn't want me to go to church. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and then on the way there, I'm like, I can't. I seriously don't want to go. I <laughs> I'm have fine a headache. Burning in hell, go without me. <laughs> I need something. My grandma, being my fucking grandma, goes. Mm. Um, you know what's gonna fix that headache? God. Jesus! Uh, and uh, we get Sorry to I'm burping a lot. I have really bad acid reflux like this entire weekend. Um, right. Sorry, I just want to interject because I've been burping for the last couple. Um, so we're in church. I try to talk to the only sane person in my family, my mother, and that's being lenient. Um, that I have a headache and I can't, <laughs> that I can't be in, uh, like, I need to go home. I need something for it. And she thinks I'm lying to get out of church. So I have to sit through an hour and a half of church, <laughs> and which probably looks like I'm getting God and crying when it's really just my headache. <laughs> You're like those kids from Jesus Camp where they're all just like getting really emotional and crying, <laughs> like the single tear. <laughs> <laughs> so then finally like we get out of church i still have the headache and they finally believe me and they're like oh the headache was real and i'm like yeah and god is it <laughs> <laughs> all right so i want to move on because we've been on this topic for a little bit hey northern term for sprinkles would you like some jimmies on your friends <laughs> <laughs>